Hello everyone, it's Gwathorn again and uh, I'm going to be running another three-man instance but first I'll check some of these legendary items to see if they slot into yep Valiant Strike Healing, I can improve it they say they're going to improve the uh, the display that says it's an uncommon not that you'd know that I can put two enhancement runes in there first so it goes from level 400 you can see that to the right add two enhancement runes it should go to 402 done slightly increased out outgoing healing rating the valiant strike healing doesn't change until I put the purple in okay it has to be exact so I'll try that again so it was 28% replacing it with the purple puts it up to 31.5 doesn't change the outgoing healing rating because that's dependent on the level enhancement item level which is there is 402 okay I'm not running my yellow line hunter oh yellow line captain I'm running the red line captain with blue backup blue secondary tree and as I said we're running the webs of Scuttle Dells, Webs of the Scuttle Dells, and I'm going to run it at level 123. I like seeing green creatures, it makes them easier to identify. Travel now. The great spiders of Mirkwood have begun to stir again, and the elves of Thrandwheel, King of Mirkwood, seek to learn the cause. What dire darkness has arisen within the wood? Forth you can see the to the right that's the way to the final so boss if you die at the final boss cocoons is part of the quest some of them have Rescue some of them rescue elves, some of them have critters in them, some, some of them have none. You will eventually get all 13 elves recovered. There's one. I'll draw a lot of these. Use the cutting attack and the grave wounds to do more damage over time to everyone around. My healing is fine. Especially for trash mobs. I've moved the effect slider down above the uh, horizontal bar right in the middle so that I can see it better that's from buff bars up uh, area of effect for that they're just a lot of little critters it's much easier just to area affect them and now I have to go across the spiderweb bridge and keep going Essentially, it's it's a single path. There is one uh, one path off to the uh, left to pick up a couple of extra cocoons. It's fairly easily identifiable as soon as long as you know what it looks like. Okay, I'll get this cocoon and then take some take another trash mob. Oh, okay. Still take the trash mob.
as you can see from the meter down on the right the uh, red line hunter build does about 20 percent more damage on average which is great if you can get away with it if you need more defense you go yellow line Cutting attack, grave wounds. Has to be on the same target though. Okay, keep picking up cocoons. I actually started running this when it was part of one of the featured instances uh, a long time ago, many, many years. Uh, this is one of the first that I ran with a party, random party. Let's troll. Easy, didn't even get into much of the healing. Okay, this is where you go left. There's usually a sentry there. And that's a giveaway. Go down to the end, pick up all the cocoons. You might not need them. I think there's enough cocoons at the end of the at the very end to uh, that's the end of that. You got to go back and continue on down the path. Yeah, I think there's enough cocoons. You don't actually need to go down there, but I I've, I've always done it. Well, I usually do it. Yeah, if you're running the red line, the, the bleed damage, which is the main focus of this character, uh, there are some traits for tree traits, red line tree traits, the benefit of that. You've got to knock over these bloated woodmen. There's three of them before you can activate the cauldrons. You can't activate them yet. You've got to go and get the others. Okay, one's a skeleton guarding it, but the three, the three guarding, the others are deadlier. Deathly Archer. And then after you've done that, you can start activating the cauldrons. This is the first boss. After you've activated the cauldrons, he turns up there at that pedestal. Go and activate all of the cauldrons. Now he does bring some adds, but you can basically burn him down. He does have a couple of phases, but uh, they're just calling more adds. You should be able to deal with it with, with a red line captain with bleeds and such. And secondary tree healing, here we go. some more critters drop all the cooldowns the long cooldown items third phase more reds Just keep burning him down. Is 
Final phase. More ads. Keep the healing going. Then clean up the ads. Got to enjoy the red line banner, which does area of effect damage. Will be useful at the end. Get back in the zone. And we finished the first boss. Grab the chest. Another enhancement rune. And now we can clear the path. Another area of effect, I think. These all mob together, which makes it easier. Oh, there's a ranged attack. As you can tell, I haven't run this character in here before with spiders. I've only got two spiders in Southern Mirkwood with this character. That number's going to increase. And let's see if the hunter, if the archer's going to... No, nope, I've got to do it. Okay, cool. Done. Okay, we've got to keep going, picking up more cocoons. As I said, some will jump, some will be empty, some will have... Oop, okay, so that one's got an enemy in it. And we have to rescue... Five more elves. Now, as I said, the final boss is a spider. Uh, it has a lot of ads uh, and can be a bit problematic. But uh, the biggest issue is if you go off the walkways, you will die. So you have to stay on the path. We're not there yet, but... As I said, there was an entrance right at the start that takes you s right to the end. So it was it was built so that if in a three man, if one of the characters walked off the uh, the ledge, which you almost certainly will, the first few times you try it, the three man, the person could run back and rejoin as a healer or rejoin as a, as a tank and uh, kind of get away with it. <laughs> Must have been added somewhere in there, somewhere later on, because it was quite difficult to have to do the entire run if you died, if you just went off the path. Okay, take the... Take the poison talk from the cocoon and let's go down. There's nothing that way. Yep, let's go down. Uh, 
you're given you'll be given well let's get these cocoons out of the way you'll be given the option there's plenty of them here as i said but there's also trolls pick them up as a mob do more area of effect damage they're not going to kill me for the big battle at the end just so pop the food pop the resistance food just yep there's another scout they'll end up being you might end up being lucky but as I said as you can see that we two cocoons that we didn't need oops no okay Okay, I'm going to need all of the cocoons. So you did have to go and do that left area. Just in case there was a, an elf in one of those cocoons that direction. Okay, so that's done. That's the, gen that's the, the general quest. So now we go up and we get the torch. Now I'm going to go and burn the cocoons in here with the torch. It is carrying a torch, so I will get hit. As I said, do not fall off the webs. And there are lots of little critters. But this generally stops. The bigger spiders, at least temporarily. In a three-man, someone would be running around doing this while there was being a, uh, there was some tanking and some DPS going on, some general healing from a distance. Okay, now I've got to get rid of them. Look at them all. Standard of war. Red line standard. I think that's its name. Up, oh, up. Oh, almost went off the edge. the spider. There, there they go. Get the healing up and burn down the boss. There's some more ads. There would have been more. Just keep going at it. Grave wounds. Cut it. Attack. Does some extra damage. Do not fall off the edge. Yeah. 
Okay, looks like we're going to get it. Good stuff. Completed tier one. There's the fancy chest. And what we get? Empowered block. Okay. Don't don't need that one. Well thanks for watching. I'll leave the instance. Have a good one.